Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you this morning with Psalm 100 verse four, and it says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be grateful unto him and bless his name. Obviously the focus of this verse is our gratitude and our praise. And so often when we enter into prayer and conversation with the Lord, we come with our needs and with our wants because that's what's first and foremost on our, our minds and our hearts. But what this verse is challenging us to do is to enter into prayer, into the presence of God, first with our gratitude and with our worship. And that's really easy to do when life is good and when we have tangible blessings, but it's more difficult when life is hard, when storms blow in. I think the next verse is key. It says, for the Lord is good. When life is tough, God's goodness remains. His faithfulness remains as sure as the sun rises and sets. His love, His mercy, His kindness, His grace always remain. We can always be confident that even in the tough times, God is working and God is moving. And so let's pray together this morning and come to God with our gratitude first. God, we bless your name because you are good. Uh, you can't be anything but good. We praise your name, God, because you are holy. You remain faithful always. And God, we you love us. We can't outrun your love. We can't hide from your love. And God, we praise you because everything that's happening and that's going on, God, you're in it and you're working and you're moving. And we thank you for that. We thank you that you're refining us even when, when times are tough. We thank you when times are good, Lord, and for those tangible blessings that you give us. Uh, but Lord, open our eyes to see even the small things, Lord, that we may not notice or we may think that they're not so great. God, help us to see your goodness in them always. Open our mouths to speak it because it changes the way that we think and the way that we feel about our circumstances. We are so grateful for you, Jesus, and it's in your name that we pray these things. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us again this morning. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow.